Marcus Alexander Bagwell is an American professional wrestler and actor, better known by his ring name, Buff Bagwell. He is best known for his appearances with World Championship Wrestling from 1991 to 2001, where he was a six-time World Tag Team Champion professional wrestling career. Growing up, Bagwell was a standout baseball player during his tenure in Sprayberry High School and worked for his family's lumber company. Upon graduating from high school, he started an amateur boxing career. When the lumber company went bankrupt, however, Bagwell became a certified massage therapist before deciding to become a wrestler. Early career he trained under Steve's Lawler and debuted in 1990, working for North Georgia Wrestling as Fabulous Fabian. In 1991, he began wrestling with the Global Wrestling Federation as the Handsome Stranger, a gimmick suggested by Billy D that saw Bagwell don a Lone Ranger-style mask. World Championship Wrestling World Tag Team Champion In 1991, Bagwell was hired by World Championship Wrestling, where he wrestled under his full name. Over the next five years, he would form tag teams with Tom Zenk, Two Cold Scorpio, The Patriot, and Scotty Riggs, and won the World Tag Team Championship four times over that span of time. The New World Order On November 25, 1996, Bagwell joined the New World Order after turning on his partner Riggs. He soon renamed himself to Buff Bagwell and formed a tag team with Scott Norton called Vicious and Delicious. While with the NWO, he also competed for New Japan Pro Wrestling as a part of NWO Japan, the NJPW version of the NWO. When he returned to America, he began a feud with Lex Luger, which later saw Bagwell defeat him at Starcade. On the April 22, 1998 edition of Thunder, Bagwell wrestled a match against Rick Steiner which he won by disqualification when Scott Steiner interfered on his behalf. Just before that, however, Rick attempted his diving bulldog finishing move, which was not executed correctly and resulted in Bagwell's head striking Steiner's back jamming his neck and severely injuring him. Bagwell was diagnosed with several damaged vertebrae and developed spinal shock, leading him to use a wheelchair and neck brace for some time. He returned months later for an interview only to be viciously ridiculed by Hollywood Hogan and shoved to the entryway floor. On July 6, after recently having neck surgery, the wheelchair-ridden Bagwell returned to WCW in his home state of Georgia. Bagwell seemed to have a new attitude and even called out Rick Steiner to offer him his forgiveness. However, Bagwell restrained Rick while fellow NWO member Scott Steiner assaulted him with a steel chair, reaffirming his loyalty to Hogan and the NWO. Bagwell then rose from his wheelchair and helped Scott beat down Rick. In January 1999, the NWO factions emerged, leading Bagwell and Steiner to side with the NWO Wolfpack. Their alliance ended at uncensored when Bagwell accidentally hit Steiner with a chair, costing him the World Television Championship. The New Blood in June 1999, Bagwell engaged in a rivalry with WCW President Ric Flair and Vice President Roddy Piper after claiming he was being held back. This led to a three-round boxing match with Piper at the Bash at the Beach, which saw Bagwell victorious. In September 1999, he feuded with Berlin when Berlin issued a challenge to Bagwell, but at Fall Brawl, Bagwell was late coming to the arena and Hacksaw Jim Duggan replaced him. The next night on Nitro, Bagwell lost to Berlin after the interference of his bodyguard, The Wall. In November, he defeated veteran Kurt Hennig in a retirement match. Bagwell then feuded with Diamond Dallas Page after he made allegations about Page's wife Kimberly. Having spent much of 1999 feuding with older wrestlers, Bagwell was one of the first to join Eric Bischoff's New Blood Alliance, forming a tag team with Shane Douglas while both were members. Bagwell and Douglas eventually won the World Tag Team Championship from Ric Flair and Lex Luger. 
giving Bagwell his fifth World Tag Team title reign and rekindling his feud with Luger from two years earlier. At Slambury, Luger defeated Bagwell via submission with the torture rack. On May 9, 2000 following a thunder taping in Springfield, Illinois, Bagwell punched and yelled racial slurs at WCW crew member Daryl Miller after he and Bagwell began arguing when Miller attempted to carry equipment through a doorway in which Bagwell was standing. Six days later, Bagwell was charged with battery by the Sangamon County, Illinois State's Attorney's Office. In response, WCW suspended Bagwell for 30 days and stripped him of his half of the World Tag Team Championship. Upon his return, Bagwell attempted to win the World Tag Team title with Douglas once more, but was unsuccessful. Bagwell, now with Tori Wilson by his side, wrestled Douglas at Bash at the Beach, but lost when Wilson distracted him and sided with Douglas. Bagwell then began a feud with Chris Canyon, who began stalking him and harassing Bagwell's mother Judy as a psychological tactic. Bagwell eventually defeated Canyon in a match where Judy was suspended from a forklift. He rescued his mother despite the surprise interference of actor David Arquette. In August 2000, David Flair's storyline girlfriend Miss Hancock mysteriously became pregnant. Flair quickly accused the womanizing Bagwell, which led to a first blood match at Halloween Havoc, with Flair hoping to obtain a sample of Bagwell's blood to prove he was the father of Hancock's child. Although Bagwell was victorious, Flair managed to get his blood sample when Bagwell's nemesis Lex Luger attacked him after the match. Bagwell was then revealed as not being the father, and the entire pregnancy was eventually found to have been a fabrication. Totally buffed at Starcade, Bagwell, who at the time had returned as a backstage interviewer, betrayed Goldberg by trying to cost him his match with Lex Luger. Bagwell's efforts were unsuccessful, but he managed to hit Goldberg with a steel chair after he had pinned Luger. Despite feuding in the past, Bagwell and Luger united and became known as Totally Buffed. Totally Buffed would go on to defeat Goldberg at Sin after a fan massed Goldberg, allowing Bagwell to pin him. Due to a stipulation in the match, Goldberg was, in storyline, fired. In early 2001, Totally Buff joined Ric Flair's Magnificent Seven stable, and remained with them until WCW's closure. World Wrestling Federation shortly after WCW was purchased by the World Wrestling Federation in March 2001. Bagwell was one of the first AL Time Warner contracted wrestlers to accept the offered buyout on his contract and sign with the WWF. On July 1, 2001, Bagwell faced Booker T at a house show and he made his WWF televised debut on the July 2 episode of Raw is War, facing Booker T for the WCW Championship. The match went to a no contest after interference from Stone Cold Steve Boston and Kurt Angle. When Bagwell arrived to the Raw tapings on July 9 in Atlanta, Georgia, he was informed he was being released from his contract due to complaints about his attitude and an altercation with fellow WCW alumnus Shane Helms. There were also accusations that Bagwell faked an injury at the July 3rd SmackDown. Tapings after receiving an aided powerbomb from the Acolytes Protection Agency. The accusations also claimed his mother Judy was calling WWF offices to request that her son get time off to heal from an injury supposedly inflicted to Bagwell from the aided powerbomb and to complain about her son's travel arrangements. However, Bagwell himself claims that he never understood why he was fired from the WWF. Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling After making several appearances with Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling in 2002 and 2003, Bagwell returned to TNA on the April 27, 2006 episode of Impact. As the first of Sting's possible tag team partners for Sacrifice on May 14, Bagwell also appeared on the September 28 episode of Impact.
in several segments, including a press conference, a video package, and a live segment where he briefly brawled with Jeff Jarrett. At a 2008 live event in Florida, Bagwell expressed that he would have liked to work a deal with TNA because it reminded him of his days in WCW. Independent circuit following his departure from the WWF Bagwell began performing for Jimmy Hart's newly founded X-Wrestling Federation, which taped television matches at Universal Studios Florida on November 12 and November 13, 2001. In addition to the XWF Bagwell toured Europe and Australia with the World Wrestling All-Stars. In the autumn of 2001, he competed in the Inception pay-per-view where he won an open battle royal before losing to Jeff Jarrett in the semi-finals of the WWA World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. A United Kingdom tour followed, where he mostly faced Stevie Ray and defeated him in several matches. He continued with the WWA into 2002, where in April, he took part in the Eruption pay-per-view. This time, he teamed up with his WWA rival Stevie Ray in an unsuccessful effort against Brian Christopher and Ernest Miller. In the autumn of 2002, he toured the UK and took part in the Retribution pay-per-view. During this tour, he often took part in the main event as a tag team match also involving Sting, Lex Luger and Nathan Jones. At the pay-per-view, he teamed up with Johnny Swinger to face Norman Smiley in Malice in a losing effort. Since his final appearance in TNA, Bagwell has resumed wrestling on the independent circuit, most prominently for the National Wrestling Alliance Territory Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling and Universal Championship Wrestling. After recovering from his injuries, Bagwell resumed his wrestling career and, in early March 2013, he won American Premier Wrestling's Heavyweight Championship after defeating Cowboy Jeremy Young at APW's Brawl via Vent. On May 24, 2014, Bagwell competed in the JT Lightning Invitational Tournament held by Absolute Intense Wrestling where he won his first-round match Jock Samson before losing to Ethan Page in the quarterfinals. Personal life Bagwell is married. On April 23, 2012, Bagwell was seriously injured in a car accident. According to the Woodstock Police report, Bagwell called his wife at 1.35 p.m. to tell you her that he was about to suffer a seizure while driving. He was subsequently taken to Wellstar Kennestone Hospital in his hometown of Marietta, Georgia, where he was placed in the hospital's intensive care unit after suffering broken bones in his neck, face and jaw. On April 24, fellow WCW alumnus and former tag team partner Scott Norton released a statement via Twitter to confirm that Bagwell was going to be all right. On April 25, Universal Championship Wrestling and Bagwell's brother John released a statement to confirm that Bagwell's condition was improving, but that he still required breathing and feeding tubes and would undergo surgery once the swelling in his face and neck subsided. On April 28, Bagwell's mother Judy revealed to TMZ that he had been taken off the breathing tube, was able to eat solid foods, and was able to talk. Fellow WCW alumni Sting, the Steiner Brothers, and Diamond Dallas Page have also kept in contact with Bagwell since his crash. On May 3rd, Universal Championship Wrestling announced via Twitter that Bagwell was able to walk again, but still had a tingling sensation in his arms and hands. UCW also stated that he had four plates surgically inserted in his face and that his jaw was wired shut after surgery. Media Filmography Day of the Warrior is the Warrior L-E-T-H-A-L Ladies Return to Savage Beach as the Warrior Terror Tractors Pound Dispatcher The Good, the Bad, and the Buff The Mark Bagwell Journey Television Appearances Charmed in Episode Wrestling with Demons I want a famous face as himself, gigolos as himself, in wrestling, finishing moves as Buff Bagwell, Buff Blockbuster as Marcus Alexander Bagwell, diving clothesline hangman's neckbreaker, 
signature moves arm drag atomic drop, sometimes inverted cross body, sometimes from the top rope double underhook DDT drop kick face buster hangman hip toss knee lift multiple suplex variation slingshot super vertical, yellow jacket suplex neck breaker running forearm smash scoop power slam shoulder block. Sometimes from the second rope shoulder breaker sit out spine buster standing or a running splash standing or a running swinging neck breaker sunset flip, tilt a whirl head scissors takedown 1996 tornado DDT, with Lex Luger double team finishing moves electric chair buff blockbuster combination, with Scott Norton double team finishing moves bear hug buff blockbuster combination. With Scotty Riggs double team finishing moves double drop kick double team signature moves double back body drop. With the Patriot double team finishing moves vertical suplex diving cross body combination. Manages Theodore Long Judy Bagwell Vincent. Nicknames Buff the Stuff. Entrance themes Rock House by Frank Shelley, Kevin Nash, Wolfpack theme performed by C. Murder and composed by Jimmy Hart and H. Helm, Buff Daddy by Jimmy Hart and H. Helm, Devil Without a Cause by Kid Rock, Championships and Accomplishments, American Premier Wrestling APW Heavyweight Championship. Our Superstars of Wrestling Our Superstars of Wrestling World Tag Team Championship with the Patriot, Cleveland All-Pro World Wrestling CAPW Unified World Heavyweight Championship, Georgia All-Star Wrestling GASW Tag Team Championship with Chris Walker, Great American Wrestling Federation GAWF Heavyweight Championship. Great Championship Wrestling GCW Tag Team Championship Scott Steele Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling 1 Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Championship with Dusty Rhodes and Ricky Nelson North American Championship Wrestling NACW Tag Team Championship with Ricky Morton North Carolina Wrestling Association NCWA Heavyweight Championship not rated pro wrestling in RPW World Championship, NWA Blue Ridge NWA Blue Ridge Television Championship, Pro Wrestling Illustrated PWI ranked him no. 66 of the 500 top singles wrestlers in the PWI 500 in 1999, Ron's Championship Wrestling RCW Heavyweight Championship, Ultimate NWA Ultimate NWA Heavyweight Championship World Championship Wrestling WCW World Tag Team Championship with two Cold Scorpio, The Patriot, Scotty Riggs, Rick Steiner and Shane Douglas Rookie of the Year. Wrestling Observer Newsletter Most Embarrassing Wrestler Extreme Intense Championship Wrestling XICW Midwest Heavyweight Championship Won this Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling, while currently operating out of the same region of the United States and having revised some of the championships used by the original Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling, is not the same promotion that was once owned by Jim Crockett Jr. and subsequently sold to Ted Turner in 1988. It is just another NWA-affiliated promotion.